Hi, my name is Jelena. I wanted to get on today while I'm just sitting here waiting for my daughter to get out of school. Motivation is the topic. Uh, motivation uh, to be able to succeed, to do with the dreams that you want. Uh, these dreams can include um, finances, they can include your career, they can include your health, your weight, um, muscle definition, um, pretty much anything that you do in life, you need motivation. So the other day I saw this old, old, old woman and she was walking and I saw her near a Walgreens. Now from Walgreens to, let's say Walmart, it takes about seven minutes to get there from one distance to another in a vehicle. Um, that day that I saw her, I actually was going to a uh, training, so I went from 12 to like 4.30, I say, so I was around the area where I saw her again, um, and you know, where I saw her previously in Walgreens, so I was probably there around 5. So from that entire time, from uh, of what, 11.30 till possibly 4.35. From that time frame, I've seen her at Walgreens. And then on my way back, I saw her uh, near uh, near 7-Eleven that's in between those two different distances. And this woman was walking and she was just went to buy a few things. and. I definitely wanted to stop and ask her if she wanted a ride, but at the same time I figured well, I'm already late to my parents and need to go to the first room. And then, so then from all that time frame, you know, I just figured, you know, either she could be walking because she wants to, she just needs to, um, but I did definitely want to ask her if she wanted a ride home, but that was the motivation of like no matter what age you are, she even had a walker, you guys, a walker. Um, you can do whatever you want in your life. It's truly amazing um, to me because there have been so many times in the past that I just wanted to quit. I just wanted to quit and I just felt like I can't do this. I just can't. Um, but you can. You just need to learn time management. Time management is really the key to success, I feel like. Um, everybody's videos out there is different. Everybody's motivational speech is different. Everybody's background is different. Um, I say that I'm with the background of people who have kids, um, single moms out there, um, you know, who've been married. I, I've been married. I've been single. I've been. I mean, I've been through so many different rides in my roller coaster of my life that maybe I can relate to many of you, or maybe I can relate to one of you. I don't know. But what my go my thing is, you keep going. Just keep going. Don't give up. And as easy as it sounds to give up, like just don't like. Trust me, I wanted to give up so many times in my life. I really did. I just wanted it to all end because of all the stress. But without all that stress, without all that hard work, you won't get to see the things that can happen. And it's amazing when it does happen. It really is. It's a good feeling. Um, and then I saw the next day, I saw a guy riding bike to work to a job that I work. So I know this guy, and I never knew he was riding the bike to work. And I saw that his bike was messed up. Now, I would have gone back and say, hey, do you need a ride? But I looked in my back, and I was like, there's really nowhere to put this bike. Um, you know, and obviously he's going to need the bike. So I couldn't, I couldn't just stop and, and help either. Um... I'm the type of person that I want to help, I do, but there's just moments that I just, I don't know how I'm going to help you because if your bike is as big as my car, I really can't fit it in there. So, and I was already running late to go home, so that's another thing, stress with my mom and time um, to get home. Um, I just definitely got to follow directions because I want to keep my job. Um... Seeing him doing that and seeing him probably running against the time to like put
put his bikes together. I'm sure he got it all set, situated. It was just the chain that fell off. And um, I just thought, like, that's motivation. That's motivation. He's going to get what he wants. Um, I like that. I like that a lot. And, um, you know, for those of you who are out there and you're like, you want, you're, you're in that in that zone where you want to, but you're not motivated enough, you know, you got to find your, your niche. You got to find what motivates you. Like for me, um, I have certain things that motivate me. Uh, for exercising, I have to wear small clothes so I can see my fat and I can say, holy shit, I need to get rid of this. Um, I mean, I don't wear small clothes like that to the gym, but that's just my home workout routine is to wear clothes that I can see what's going on with my body and I can see the definition of what's going on and where I need to work at and that's my motivation and for motivation for a career, all to see is like I want my own home and I want my own place and I want all these things now. Now emotionally I know I'm ready for it. So now that I know this I'm taking the steps to make it happen and um, trust me there's moments where I've cried and said I can't do this. And those are the moments that you speak to God. Um, you purchase a sage and you burn it and you pray in your home and you bless your home and you pray for the things that you want and you envision these things and these things just start coming towards you and then things just start like oh, okay like I can't give up because you know it's being put in my my place I just have to do the actual work to continue it um, so it's like the universe works with you if you just learn to work with it um, definitely, definitely, definitely. And um, yoga is good to clear your mind if you have too many racing thoughts. Um, and then, you know, <clears throat> crying is a good way to show emotions even within yourself. Um, I used to be the type of person that held everything in. Um, I still do. Um, but... I have learned, you know, like, when you have that emotion and you want to, like, let it out, let it out. Let it out. Like, even if you have to scream to let it out, you just let it out. When you let go of a, a negative energy that's Mommy. in you and you release it, it's the most amazing feeling. Trust me. It is. Um, uh you know, there's so many different ways to get motivated. There are so many different ways to um, cleanse yourself from negative energy. There's crystals that you can even hold within the throughout the day, depending on you know what's going on in your life. Um, there's so many things that you just got to uh, be open-minded to. And um, once you become open-minded, um, things start seeing in different pictures and like wow like you know god and and the universe like it all kind of is a connection all of it is a connection it really is you just have to um experience it i'm gonna let uh this video end and Mommy. before i end um at the end of this video um there's a, you know, you leave comments, and the comments that I would like to, to see are, what are the ways you help yourself release negative energy to create a positive energy for motivation purposes? Um, you know, everybody has different ways, and if we teach everybody different ways, maybe one way that works for somebody else doesn't work for somebody, but maybe your way might work for somebody else. And if we all work together as the world, because this is YouTube and this is going around the world. So, you know, people from all over, Japan, UK, um, all of you guys are seeing all of this. And, um, you know, maybe not so soon, but eventually it's going to happen where it's going to get around. And for you guys, you know, for everybody, everybody in the world, no matter who you are, what are your ways? If you can leave a comment, it would be nice. Um, everybody likes to like, like the button and stuff like that. But I don't want just the like button. I want actual feedback. I want to talk to real people.
All right, peace out, you guys. And I gotta do my nails. That's another motivation I got. Motivation on beauty. Keeping yourself looking beautiful is a great motivation for women. All right, peace out, you guys. Oh,